found another one. Of course, up to found him, still trying to calm down. Well, let's identify the body. I know who this unlucky chap was. It's Nate. What? Nate. Oh my god. Can we trust this guy? I mean, he was out of the force for three years. He was in the force for three years. And one of those years he was fixated on this damn case. I know, but we can't trust him. How? Because from the looks of things, this case is very similar, if not exact, as the same one from four years ago. What do you mean the exact same case from four years ago? After killing the victim, the culprit disfigures their face most times beyond recognition. Dave, meet Felix Aston. Forensics and private detective. Felix, Dave Jonas, a natural prodigy right out of the academy. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I look forward to working with you. Now, Mark, fill me in. I want specifics. Nothing left out here. We've had three victims so far. The first was believed to be a young female in her early to mid 20s. Found a supermarket car park. She was in such bad shape we could hardly identify her. The second was a former cop of ours, friend. Nate Dolan, 26. The third victim was the person who even found Nate. George Keithan, age 20, found in front of his own house the next day. All three matching disfigurement on their faces. Yeah, nah, there's definitely him. I'm sorry, am I even up to speed? Who's him? We found an alias for the culprit. Because of the signature he leaves on all the victims, we've given the call... No face. A are you kidding me? What is this, a comic book? Look, we, we should look at this as though it's a separate case. We don't want to jump to any conclusions. I think the best place to start is to get more patrolling officers. I disagree. Like, every victim we've had so far has died out in the public. A park, out from their home, in a car park for Christ's sake. Like, the least thing, the least optimal thing that we should do is get more people out in the streets. I reckon we should wait until the next victim. That way we can, we can piece together, you know, if it's, he's got a pattern or if it's just a coincidence, you know. We don't want to jump to any conclusions yet. And let another innocent person die? Are you mad? Unfortunately, I think he's right. We hardly know a method or criteria for him. Felix, you know what to do. I won't disappoint. Are you still sure about him? More or less. That's reassuring. Right now, you're the best we've got. It's just something about him. Can't trust it. So Felix was assigned to this branch in 2016. Not long after his arrival, a string of murders took place on a weekly basis. The further he got into the investigation, the more people were dying, almost as if this no-face knew he was being watched. However, once Felix left, the murders ceased altogether. In those three years of absence, there wasn't a single reported murder case. Coincidentally, the murder started up again with Felix back in town. Now, anybody would say that Felix is the murderer. Bring him in. No. Questions asked. 
but Mark trusts him. What makes him so special? What happened in his past? Nearly everything before him leaving the academy is completely blank. It's filled with gaps. Hang on. Here's something. From a young age, he was a victim of domestic violence. It says here that when he was nine, his father attacked his mother in open rage and forced her to hit her head to hit the floor and killed her instantly. What happened next is described as Felix going to a frenzy, grabbing a knife, which he then used on his father, repeated, st repeatedly stabbing him in the chest until the police arrived. From then, he was sent to youth correctional centres where he spent most of his teenage years watching crime dramas and studying the law and had to be a cop. Join the academy. Mentally, his age went from nine to his late teens. I wonder what happened in between those years. His mind fractured. He created multiple personalities as a way from the cope of what he did to his father. Who are you? How'd you get into my house? Does it really matter? You'll be dead soon anyway. Ah, uh, so you're Mr. No Face. We haven't properly met yet. I am. Oh, I know all about you. Dave Jonas, fresh out of the academy and a natural born genius. How'd you know that? <laughs> Felix has told me all about you. I knew he had something to do with this. How about you be a pal? and take that little good old hoodie of yours off. Didn't think so. Why, hello there, old chum. What are you doing here? Well, the same reason you're here. Mark called us over. Only problem is that that was three hours ago. What? What are you talking about? Surely you can't still be oblivious to what's going on here. You know, maybe I should just shed some light on the situation for you. Wait, what did you do? I didn't do anything. This is all you. <laughs> Just look down at your hand. Ah! No! No! Reminds me back then, huh? What? So, now you remember me. 